Jedrowitz is the super cool creative play muse here at Cool the Craft. Have you been following her 31 Days of Christmas projects on our blog? Well, we'll let you know a little bit more about that in just a while because right now Candace is here to share easy fabric stamping. It's Candace J. Hi, Candace. Thanks. Hi, Tiffany. I'm going to demonstrate potato stamping today in case you don't haven't done that or it's been a long time since you've done that. They have lots of newer fabric dyes. I'm going to show you two different ways to make a design in the potato to stamp. When my daughter was young, she had a, a Garfield quilt that had pastel paw prints all over it. So we carved potatoes and we stamped her walls with uh, the potato paw prints. That was very cool looking. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to start with potato. Of course, I have a rigid tissue blade so I can cut it in half and have a nice flat surface. Um, I've got a couple of different paints, a, uh, a cookie cutter, a craft knife, and a carving tool. So let's get started. There are a lot of different ways that you can prepare your, your stamp. This is just a couple of them. And I'm going to do the easy one first. I'm going to use a cookie cutter and I'm going to press it in like that. See? All right, and then I'm going to take the craft knife and I'm going to cut away about maybe a little less than half an inch of it just so that the outer edges of the potato won't get paint on them when I go to stamp because you want to press down pretty hard and make sure that you're getting full contact with the material that you're stamping. And actually, you could, if you can get the negative off in one piece, you could use that as a stamp too. That would be very awesome. All right, now just remove the cookie cutter and to do whatever carving you want to do with it with your craft knife. I will show you what I made with the heart shape in a second. And then you can pop it out with the craft knife or you can use your um, carving tool for that. Carving is one of my most favorite things. So let me show you the one that I did with that. I did a little heart shaped peace sign. It's not black from being old, it's black from the paint that I use. So I will show you that in a moment. Okay, freehand carving is my most favorite thing. And what I did the other day was, and I will show you very quickly, I just did a real rough spiral cut. and dug out the material, but you could carve anything, anything you want in it. So you get the idea. <laughs> There's still some potato chunks in there. All right, but it's pretty easy to do with a sharp tool. So let me show you, and I want to use the stamps that I made before because yeah, also black paint. I did some stamping in black paint with that because I've already done the front of the t-shirt with these two stamps. So get your paint ready. You want to do a thin layer because what you don't want is for the paint to get up into the crevices that you're stamping and um, mush, up your, mush up your stamp. So let me get started with the gold. And I'm loading it on, and it did get some stuff up in there, so you just take your, your craft knife, take it off, and start your stamping. And I like, I like really colorful things, but I thought I would do Christmas colors on this with the, it's a deep, deep red and a deep green with um, Adirondack spray colors, spray fabric. So just push it down. Make sure you get good contact with it. 
and don't drop it back down. <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay. Oh, one of the things you want to do is you want to keep handy your uh, paper towels. And this is the potato that I just started to cut out. Test them first on paper towels. And then you can use those paper towels later on, as some of the lovely crafters have demonstrated on the show.